Welcome to In Touch. I'm Aaron Harper. With me is Glenn Wilson. And Glenn, of course, uh, running on the independent ticket as the citizen's candidate. And in our conversation, we need to talk about a few things. First of all, let's talk about you as the person. And what prompted you to jump on and throw your hat in the ring, so to speak? Well, my name is Glenn Wilson. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm a husband, a father, a grandfather. I'm also a special deputy for Ogama County Sheriff's Department to protect our kids from child pornography. I'm a veteran, and I'm a small businessman. Mm -hmm. And I say both parties have failed us miserably. The PACs, lobbyists, and special interests need to be stopped. The two parties are being bought and paid for way too many times in Washington. And we need someone to stand up for the American people, and we need to build our jobs. And that's going to happen when the citizens stand up to both parties and say, we want to restore America. This gives you the advantage, doesn't it? I don't know if it's an advantage because I don't have all the power that both parties have. I only have the people. It's we, the people, need to stand up. And that's what I'm here to ask for today. Well, that's where my point is, I guess. You don't have... Let's say the Democrats here, the Republicans there, and all the money is in the favors you owe once elected. Well, I won't owe. You're running as an independent. Absolutely, sir. And I, I, I won't take the PAC monies. Mm-hmm. So my only contributions are coming from the citizens. And they are outraged all across this district. Who? It's just amazing the amount of uh, outpouring support that our campaign's getting because they want someone in Washington that won't be bought or sell out their people. And we so finally this, come to that final push, haven't we? Yes, sir. My final push was when I was sitting there, turned on the TV news, mm-hmm. and I seen the president of Mexico standing there on our White House lawn with our president telling us that the citizens of Arizona were wrong. And I asked myself, what does the president of another country have to do slamming our citizens? Mm -hmm. Then I turned on the news later on that night, and I seen the president standing before Congress saying the same thing, and they stood up and they gave him a round of applause. And that's when I said, this has got to end. So, A lot of the biggest concerns right now are there's no money coming into our families. They're unemployed. Well, we need jobs. And that's not going to happen until we get our small businesses working again. The, the government has catered to the special interest in big business for too long because that's where the money comes from. Mm-hmm. And we need to get someone in here that's going to stand up for our small businesses because that's where our jobs come from. How are we going to swing this around? How are we going to change the employer's feelings and fears and get them to open up and hire more employees. I know they'd like to, but they're afraid to. Well, businesses run on forecasted plans. Mm -hmm. They don't, it's like a ship. If you have a big ship, it takes a while to turn it. So they don't want to run into a big iceberg out there. Mm -hmm. So we we need to have stability. We need to have a tax base that we know is going to be there and not be changed all the time. Okay. And we have to get these regulations and burdens off these small businesses. I have two employees that stand there full time just filling out paperwork for the government. That's killing our jobs. Mm -hmm. We should be productive and making money. And that's what makes jobs. And then we have Obamacare. Obamacare has got to go. It must be repealed. It is laced with special interest payoffs. There's very little in there I can find that actually reduces our health care costs and brings more services to the people. There's, so we need to repeal yeah. it. There's a lot of concerns there, too, that those who voted yes for it didn't even know what was in it. Well, if they actually read the bill, they would mm-hmm. find atrocious things in there, like reporting our gold coins to the federal government. It's just one of them. Right. On, on page 1312, it funds a civilian military. We're not talking about our police, National mm-hmm. Guard, or Army. We're talking about a brand new civilian military. Now, what is that doing in our health care bill? There's a lot of things in the health care bill that a lot of people are asking questions about now. Well, I encourage every American to read it. What do you think prompted everybody to fall in line behind the president and sign this thing? Money. What was the promise? Money, lobbyists, and specialists. They paid. 
they, they promised them money to get reelected. Mm-hmm. They promised to help them run their campaigns. That's the thing. People are more worried about getting reelected than doing the right thing for their people. And the health care bill is just the epitome of that example. That's why I say both parties have failed us. You're right. We the people. It should be we the yeah. people. We're a representative government. Mm-hmm. And our representatives are no longer representing us. And both parties, both parties, you can take good men and put them in that, mm-hmm. in, in that party system. And within a, a year or two, they have learned how to play the system. And it's not right. Money talks and money goes in their pockets. and Isn't it amazing? You're bought over to that side. Which brings me up to the concern of you running as an independent, and it's appear- apparent that you can buy an election today if you the one with the most money wins. Well, that's that not... That makes it tough on you running as an independent, doesn't it? The laws are written to keep the powers that be in power. And that's why it's so important. If you, if the, the FCC, uh, FEC laws are written mm-hmm. against anyone to challenge the incumbents, right. and I say both parties are the incumbents. It's not just the people. We need to get rid of the party incumbency, mm-hmm. and that's only going to happen when the people stand up and say we want somebody representing us. We've had it long enough. I mean, as far as you make a valid point, and whether it's Democrat on this side, Republican on that side, it's. It's a shift in power, but things don't seem to change. It seems they both. look at us like we don't know what we're talking about because we're the constituent. <laughs> they need to understand that, don't they? They know because they're elected. Both sides seem to be happy winning fifty percent of the time. Mm-hmm. Both sides. Well, sure, because well, then they have control, but it's like a ping pong ball from one side of the net to the other. It's just back and forth. They have set the system where people are voting for the one they like the least Mm -hmm. instead of the one that has the resume to do the job. I have the skill set. I understand how to run business. I know how to deal with the government issues. And we need someone in there to represent us, not the parties. That's why I'm doing this as an independent, and I'm putting my own money on the line to do this. It's got to be a tough one. Well, You take from somewhere to invest in yourself to... If, if, but you're right, that is, that is the way to get it done, right? Well, you know, it's, it's like I say, the, uh, the Republicans are taking us off the cliff at 80 miles an hour, mm-hmm. and the Democrats are taking us off the cliff at 100 miles an hour. Yeah. What's the difference? We're going off yeah. the cliff. Yeah. Exactly. You know, we, we need Good someone boy. to actually stand up for the people and mm-hmm. say, we need to hit the brakes. We, we've got out-of-control spending in Washington. We need to secure our borders. We need lawful immigration. Mm-hmm. This country is a... a is great because of our diversity, but you need to come through the front door. That's all I'm asking. Learn our Constitution, speak English, and pay your taxes. Is that asking too much? Not to me, it's not. Well, the way the system's working, they seem to think it's easier to sneak across the border, but there's bad people coming across the border. Not just people that are trying to live here and make a living. We've got bad people coming across the border that want to harm us, Mm -hmm. and so we need to secure our borders. And allow for lawful immigration. So what Arizona had put in place was exactly the way it should go? Absolutely. You, we have a federal law that says it's a felony to be in this country without permission. And Arizona's law is only a misdemeanor. And they're not allowed to enforce the law. And yet they have sanctuary cities, in fact, that mm-hmm. flat outright violate the law. Good point. We need one law that affects for everyone. Mm-hmm. Congress shall make no law that cannot be equally applied to everyone. So what is going on? And how is it possible in our country that happens? Well, health care bill just got passed, and it does not equally apply to everyone. States are exempt from paying the same thing as we have to do have to here in Michigan. Mm-hmm. This has just gotten crazy. Now is the time for change, though. Now is the time I see it changing. It must change. Mm-hmm. We must stand up to both parties and say we want to restore America, not transform it, not reform it. Those are just polite ways of saying you don't like America. Right. We need to restore America because this is the greatest country on the planet, and it's about time we stand up for our pride again. I wonder how many out there felt or had this feeling when they started talking about changing the Constitution. To me, that was like a slap in the face. 
because our, we know what the intent of our Constitution was from the beginning. The sole purpose of our Constitution is to protect our liberties. Mm -hmm. That's the sole reason our federal government exists. Our Constitution is small because our federal government was supposed to be small. Mm -hmm. And everything that's not explicitly enumerated in the Constitution is reserved for the rights of the state and the people. And that's what our federal government was supposed to do, is protect our liberties. And for our people that are listening and want more information about you and learn more about you, how can they go about that? I know you have a web page. It's a good web page. Thank you. It's they, e easy to, to get through and maneuver. Thank you. You can go to www.wilson4uscongress.com. That's wilson for uscongress.com. We have Facebook, and, uh, email, or uh, YouTube, and Twitter up there. Please join our email list. We'll, we'll keep you up to date with where we're at. But one thing I want to say to all the listeners out there, you are not alone. Everywhere I go, people are fed up with both parties. And now is the chance to stand up and be heard. We need to fire both parties and hold this seat in Congress for the citizens. And that won't happen with the parties telling them that their vote doesn't count. Your vote does count. And that's what the untold truth is that they don't want you to know, mm -hmm. is that your vote counts, and they're scared of the American people. When the people fear the government, that's tyranny. When the government fe fears the people, that's freedom. Mm -hmm. What about uh, the Tea Party? What impact have they had, and that, has it been positive? I think the Tea Party has been uh, uh, an impact because mm -hmm. it shows the, the discontent and the, the frustration of the American people. They're saying, we know the system's broke. Mm -hmm. I'm so afraid that the GOP is going to infiltrate the Tea Party that a lot of people in the Tea Party think they can fix the GOP. Mm -hmm. And more power to them. I think the DNC, people in the Tea Parties also think the DNC can be fixed. But we can fix them best when we hold this seat for the people and we send a shockwave through this election mm -hmm. saying the citizens have spoken and you both are fired. Now, there's been several across the, the country in the last few years that have been seated as independents. Well, And right. who have changed parties to the independent. Well, that's because they understand the corruption that's mm -hmm. going on. People Joe all across Lieberman's the country. Joe a good example of that. Well, Joe Lieberman, he's actually worked on both sides mm -hmm. on, of issues. And that's what needs to be done. Somebody needs to stand up for both parties. Mm -hmm. Reaching across the aisle, bipartisanship, if you watch how they actually vote, they vote right down the party line. Congress's definition of a bipartisan bill is getting one person across the aisle. Mm -hmm. We need somebody that can tell both parties no. But it's not the people seated themselves who are actually voting their conscience, is it? No. They're forced to follow whatever the, the party, party line. Says. Yeah. The party line. The lobbyists and special interests have more say of what goes on in Congress than the people. And that's why you cannot be part of the problem and claim to fix the problem. Mm -hmm. So we need an independent. And as you pointed out, go to the webpage, get more information. www.wilsonforuscongress.com. Join you, us. You can't miss the bus. No, you cannot. Keep up with us on Facebook. We're, everywhere we go, we're taking uh, pictures and videos mm -hmm. of people just like you, that are just wanting a job. We need to get our small businesses. It's back to jobs. And until we get representation in there that actually knows how to run a business, we're not going to get it. And we need jobs. And we're just down, we're down to a few days to get this all done. Yeah, we have, what, less than 60 days mm -hmm. now? I think, yeah, it's less than 60 days. And right now, we need people to stand up. I'm, I literally... Um, appeal to the American people and the people of northern Michigan here. Donate five, ten dollars to my campaign so that we can keep this bus rolling. It shouldn't be a lot of money. Money, big money is corruption. Small power is what we need. Power of the people. That's the only thing we can do. We need to restore our country. Glenn, I thank you for your time, sir. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you very much. That is Glenn Wilson, the independent candidate for the 1st Congressional District in the November.